Hello viewers, in the previous video, we have seen how to use Google Classroom on a desktop or a PC. But now, suppose you just don't have a desktop or PC and you'd like to access or use Google Classroom. So what are the different ways using which you can use your smartphone or your Android phone for accessing Google Classroom? So this demonstration now we'll try to see in this video. So the first and the simplest way to access Google Classroom in your mobile will be by using Google Play Store. So first of all, you have to search for the Google Play Store in your mobile. You have to click on that. Once you have clicked on a Google Class, Google Play Store, you have to just type Google Classroom. So this is the first option which is available and that is Google Classroom. Now, as I have already installed this Google Classroom in my mobile, so I'll straight away move on to that Google Classroom app. So this is the Google Classroom app available in my mobile. I'll click on that app. So this is the particular Google Classroom app available. I'll click on get started. So it is asking me choose account for Google Classroom. That means if you have accessed your a mobile by using different Gmail accounts. So at that moment of time, it is going to provide you the list of Gmail accounts you have or the list of Gmail accounts which you are frequently using in your mobile. So I'm using the same account which we have used in the previous video. So I'll try to click on the very first one rdbsgbau uh, at gmail.com and I'll click on OK. So the moment I'll click on OK, you can see this type of screen and in that screen, you can see the very first Google Classroom which is available will be the same which we have created by using our desktop. So that is SGBAU FDB 2020. So I'll click on that particular classroom and you can see whatever are the assignment, whatever are the activities which we have carried out over there. So everything will appears over here. Okay, so only the difference in this particular version is you are not going to get the particular option and that is grade option is not available on a mobile version. Other three options and that is you can make the use of a streaming, you can use Google classwork and as well as you can be able to see the peoples. So all the other options are present, only the grading option is not present whenever you are accessing your account by using a Google classroom app. So this is the first and the simplest way to access your Google Classrooms by using your smartphone or Android phone. Another simplest way is just like nowadays, every person's mobile have lot many number of apps available and you just don't want to waste your memory in making an installation of an additional app like Classroom in your particular mobile. So at that moment of time, you have another option available and we'll move on to that particular option. So what you have to perform, you have to go into the browser. So I'll try to click on the Google tools and under that tools, I have one option available, the very first option, and that is a Google Chrome. Google Chrome, of course, it, Chrome is a browser which is provided or supported by Google. So I'll click on that particular browser. So. Once this particular browser gets open, okay, the next very important part, you have to click onto the right top, okay, you could be able to see an arrow at the right top or you can see three dots, okay, so idea is that I'll try to show you this type of dots appears on your mobile, okay, so you have to click on that particular one, okay. So once you have clicked on that particular three dots, you will get a particular updates uh, menu related with uh, Google. Chrome and under that you have an option available and that is a desktop site. So what I have performed again I'll repeat I have clicked on these three dots and under the options I have an option and that is a desktop site. So by using that desktop site option now your mobile will gives you an appearance somewhat similar to your desktop and that's why it is called as a desktop version of Google Chrome. Okay now the next part. Once you have performed that activity, the next task you have to perform, you have to go into the address bar of your browser. Just like I have chosen over here Chrome, you can choose any particular browser. And within that, I am going to type something. Please do listen this thing carefully. I am typing something classroom 
dot google dot com so what you have to type you have to type something classroom dot google dot com so i have typed the thing and i'll click on enter as i have already log in in my gmail account so it just don't ask me to again log in i have already log in into my particular account so it is showing me all the classrooms whatever are present in my uh, my account so this is the first one which we have already created and that is sgbau fdp 2020 so this is the particular and you can see one student is there and everything will be available so i'll click on that particular one so under the particular options you can see over here okay you have all the particular options available just like i have told you stream cla classwork and people these are the things only available whenever you will try to access this classroom using using app but if we are trying to use a desktop version so at that moment of time you could be able to see the marks or the grades whatever are being provided to the particular student just like in the last uh, uh, ac activity we have made an accessing of two uh, two activities just like in a in a quiz we have got six marks and in case of a quiz we have been allotted out of uh, 10 we have given 7 mark so this way you can be able to use your mobile exactly like that of a desktop so these are the two ways using which you can easily access your classroom anywhere and again it is also possible for you to use or access any of the particular class works which have been allotted to the student so please make use of this smartphone as a desktop by using this option by using this desktop option the facility is you just don't need to install google classroom app in your mobile that means without installing google classroom app also it is possible for you to use this uh, google classroom in your mobile so these are the two ways i have given and i hope you have understood regarding these uh, facilities provided on a smartphone Thank you thank you very much